Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda and for today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, we are going into Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my favorite decor items, things that I think would be perfect for your home, as well as I'm gonna be showing you guys what I purchased and how I styled it in my home. So hopefully this video serves as inspiration for a lot of you. And I'm not gonna be showing everything that's in store. I'm only gonna be showing things that I think are worth buying. And it's not to say that Hobby Lobby doesn't have tons of beautiful items in different sections but i really have been trying to keep my decor very minimal and very intentional so i think these pieces are definitely those pieces that i think are worth purchasing to be intentional if that makes sense but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video definitely let me know if you guys go and purchase any of these items oh and also it is raining and i am wearing just a very thin shirt but i do have a rain jacket don't worry i got it right here <laughs> for all you moms out there that are like girl why are you wearing that in the rain um no i got i got a jacket and i also run pretty warm so like i don't know why stores do this but when it's cold in california they blast the heater but like it's not that cold i mean right now it's 59 degrees outside but they'll be blasting the heater in there and i'll be i'll be dripping so i have to wear something light and then put a big jacket on top because i will be dripping in the store it's so bad anyways if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos and let's get to shopping Starting off with the floral section, so I've recently been leaning towards real or dried florals because I really feel like it adds more texture and interest to a space and Hobby Lobby Selection is my current favorite neutrals for all year round. Starting with this beautiful dried floral bundle, I added them to a simple ceramic jar, which you can see later in this video, and I style it in my office shelving. I really love the natural soft color that it gives and it just really speaks to my decor style. These branch bundles are also very beautiful, and if you're going for a super modern, minimal look, I think these would be perfect. I would have definitely used these for my winter decorating, but they can work all year round as well. This wheat bundle is also a very beautiful one. I'll probably purchase it for once our main bedroom is ready for a makeover, but I thought I'd share that with you guys as well. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, then you know that my toddler's room is going through a makeover right now, and I really wanted to add some sort of floral that fit well with his room, but it didn't look too girly. So I decided to go with this dried white button bundle and it's priced at $6.99 and it was perfect. I really love how it like filled in that extra space on his dresser. It's not too like girly like you would see with maybe some like daffodils or daisies, but it like it still adds that floral touch to his space, which I love. So moving on to some candle items, this candle cloche is one that Hannah Naylor shared in one of her most recent videos and I had to run to go pick it up. I also found two beautiful candles to go with it. I really love how it just gives that abstract unique look that I'm always going for. This bubble candle is probably my favorite and it goes for $9.99 but you can get it for $5 with their 50% off. And this cloche is also great to elevate the look of your candles. It's also great for protecting little ones from reaching in and burning their little fingers, which helps me a lot. Another candle find that I really loved is this metal taper candle holder. It's giving that old world feeling and you can either add a real taper candle or you can opt for a safer option like I did with these LED candles from Amazon. Now, this blanket ladder is probably my most favorite find. Sitting at only $38.99, this ladder can be used in so many different ways. Ideally, or typically use it for a blanket, but I decided to lean it against my office bookcase and I really love the way it adds that rustic touch. It is a little short, but to be fair, my ceilings are pretty high. So this was the tallest I could find at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure there's other websites that sell taller ones, but this is what I opted for. And then this bowl is another piece that I think is worth buying as well. If you remove the bee tassel and stain it a little darker, I think it would look beautiful styled on top of some books or even as a fruit bowl. 
Then these canisters here are also a great size. I will say they run on the pricier side, but I think the size makes it worth it if you buy them on a sale day. The small one is running at $34.99 and the larger one or their largest one is running at $44.99. And you guys know that I'm always talking about this black ceramic vase. I think out of all the vases they've released, this is definitely my favorite. And as you guys can see, here is the ceramic vase that I used for my florals at the beginning of the video. And last but not least, this man sculpture is so beautiful. If it wasn't this big, I would definitely add it to my shelving, but unfortunately it's a little too tall. But I thought I'd share it with you guys. I think it's such a beautiful, just artistic touch if that's what you're looking to add to your home. All right, you guys, I know this is a little bit of an abrupt outro, but I completely forgot to film an outro. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit short, but I honestly really like the shorter videos. I feel like they just provide more value to you guys without, you know, going off on a tangent. So hopefully you guys don't mind the shorter videos. I will try to make them a little bit longer, but um, anyways, this is like my first like shop with me, like in store. So definitely let me know if you guys wanna see more like that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.